I've got two questions for you. What's the best sandwich in the world? And have you ever eaten a club sandwich? Well, a club sandwich is a double layered sandwich with some cheese, some egg, some bacon, some ham, some chicken, some lettuce, some tomato, and it is delicious. Are you hungry yet? Horns up and welcome to my unimpressive weight loss transformation. If you're new, welcome to Headbangers Kitchen. My name is Sahil, I'm a death metal musician and I'm also the author of the recipe book called Keto Life. And this is my series where I document and chronicle my weight loss journey as well as my life. And it's not very impressive. But smash that like button if you are even slightly impressed. Hey guys, starting my week with meal prep and I'm here in the kitchen cooking up my entire menu for the week. I've got some delicious chicken congee, so I've made the congee rice, I've boiled the chicken and I'm going to shred it and put it in that congee. I've also got some keema happening like which is ground chicken cooked with spices and I'm also cooking some beef heart and I'm going to be eating some eggs and sourdough as well. So all that is happening now and I'm just waiting for my lunch. I've ordered myself a chicken burger because it's Sunday. It's the day to order burgers. And instead of having the standard smashed beef burger which I have, I got myself a chicken burger so I'm just waiting on that and I'll check in with you once the burger arrives because I know you want to see it. Well here's my chicken burger. And I forgot to film it because I was busy filming it for Headbanger Eats, but it's pretty delicious. Oh yeah. Yeah, chicken. Looks pretty good. Tastes pretty good too. Good morning guys. It's time for breakfast and I've got myself some chicken keema with some bread. That's my breakfast, a nice high protein breakfast. And I weighed myself this morning and I was 69.6. So already the weight is coming down. And I expect that I'll be able to lose the weight I put on last week. So anyway, wish me luck. Let's go. Dipti made. Dipti has made epic sourdough. That's a coffee machine making noise. Just look at that bread. It is so epic. Yeah. Look at the crumb. It's a noisy machine. So my lunch is my chicken congee with some broccoli, spring onion and chili oil. Yes, this stuff is not spicy at all and it tastes like crack. Not that I've ever tasted crack, but it is addictive. Really delicious and I'm looking forward to eating this now. Okay, bye. Eating some keto chocolate pudding for dessert. Let me show you a little behind the scenes. So I'm just finishing up shooting a new recipe for some chicken wings and this is my slate which I use and that's my plate and you know backdrops and I've set up everything you can see the little bit of decorations and here's my camera so I've got work to do today I'll catch up with you guys later okay so dinner today is some fried rice with beef heart and chili oil and I've got some chicken wings here that I made for Headbangers Kitchen. So that's a nice meal of chicken wings, beef heart, fried rice and chili oil. That chili oil is everything.
Vipti, hi. What are you making? A childhood favorite. Can you show us? It's chapati pizza. Oh wow! And look, she so neatly cut everything out and got everything ready. Nice. So Dipti is eating some chapati pizza. Mise en place is very important, even if you're making chapati pizza. And I'm going to go continue my indoor walk. Nobody cares. So Dipti has ordered a non-veg club sandwich, as we call them in India. Can we take out one? So big. So I might share this with her for breakfast. Might. Okay, I will share this with her for breakfast. Let's. Oh, why are there so many chips around it? Holy just smoke. putting the chips on the floor. Oh, sorry. Whoa. Holy smokes. Guys, look at that sandwich. That is nuts. So, Dipti has ordered this for her breakfast. And I guess we are going to split it. Halfsies. So, I will be eating that for breakfast. Thank you very much. That club sandwich really filled me up. So, I've kind of skipped lunch. I just had a pear and some watermelon. And now I'm having a little bowl of ice cream. And then I'm going to go to the gym. It's leg day today. And yeah, we're going out tonight to a friend's place. So I, it's going to be some good food. Anyway, I'll check in with you later. Good morning, guys. So last night we went for a friend's birthday and there was eating and drinking and making merry. And we got home pretty late last night. And I weighed myself this morning and I was 70 kilos. And Dipti ordered a club sandwich again. But this time, instead of eating half her club sandwich and some fries, I'm eating quarter of the club sandwich. And just like that, my friends, another week is over. And I apologize for the abrupt ending of the vlog, but yesterday I was alone at home. I just didn't feel like picking up the camera and vlogging. And I didn't really eat anything out of the ordinary. I didn't order any fancy food from any restaurant. I just ate all my leftovers, which I'm sure most of you do as well. But I weighed myself this morning and I was 69.5 kilos. So compared to last week's weigh-in, I've actually lost half a kilo or 1.1 pounds. So that's been my progress this week. What about you? How has your week been? Have you lost any weight? Are you even on a diet or are you just living life? Let me know in the comments below. Now truth be told, I'm just living life. As you guys have seen my weight fluctuations through the week, you can kind of have an estimate of what's going on. I'm largely around the same weight and I think my body is really comfortable at this weight. I haven't counted a single calorie in months now, but I haven't gone off the deep end. You know, the weight is just within that 69 to 70 kilos and it's not really going either side of it. And I think if I wanted to go down, I'll have to do some strict dieting, which I'm just, I'm not feeling like doing right now. And I feel that it's okay because I'm not at an, I'm not at a really unhealthy weight or something. I'm, yes, I'm a little on the chubbier side than I would like to be, but I have been feeling a little beefier, if you can even call that a thing, like going to the gym, lifting heavy, uh, doing my workouts is making me feel like even though I'm not possibly losing weight on the scale I'm just feeling a little beefier like I've got more muscle I don't have like a DEXA scan or something to prove it nor have I taken like some caliper measurement but I'm just feeling a little beefy have you ever felt like that like you can feel something's happening but you can't really explain it I don't know if it's actually happening or it's just in my head but uh, no complaints I feel pretty good so I think I'm just going to continue on this path and see where things go. I expect this series to remain as unimpressive as it has. Uh, I have been thinking about doing some food challenges like eating only hamburgers for an entire week or pizza for an entire week or sushi for an entire week. But right now I still feel like what I'm doing is okay. Hopefully while it is unimpressive it is entertaining enough for you that you'll keep watching 
But I guess that's been enough jibber jabber from me for this episode. I will see you next week, same time, same place on another episode of my unimpressive weight loss transformation. Until then, cheers and keep cooking. And before I leave you, let me ask you another question that might cause you to introspect on yourself a little bit. If you were a sandwich, what sandwich would you be? Let me know in the comments below. I think I would be a Philly cheesesteak sandwich, possibly. At least that's how I feel this week.